I thought you actually wrestled like in the seventies, just once. I've got it somewhere. There's like maybe seventy six. You actually went to St. Louis, maybe, probably. But I went for out of Kansas City because I've spoken before about St. Louis being like Houston and Chicago. They were outlying towns that weren't associated with any one territory. They would get the bulk of their territory uh, of their talent. Chicago would get it from Minneapolis or Indianapolis. Chicago would. And St. Louis would get it from Indianapolis and Kansas City, a lot of it, because they could drive in. And Houston would get a lot of their talent uh, from the Texas Territory or the Mid-South Territory. Mm. But they were, and they had separate TVs. They didn't, they didn't take, say, in Houston, they didn't take the Mid-South tape and run it there. They did their own TV, and they, they kept their town separate. And I forgot who the the promoter was in St. Louis. I Sam guess Mosnick. it was a. And I forgot who the who was a promoter in Chicago. Uh, remember? No, the the Sheik. I mean, I can't no, remember. It now. wasn't him. Okay. And Houston was Paul. That was, that was Detroit. Sorry, Paul Bosch. Paul Bosch. Now Paul Bosch, to me, was the best payoff man in the business. Because if you were working mid south, if you had Houston on your schedule, that made you weak. You could go in there and first match, and this is in the eighties. You could pick up anywhere from five hundred to eight hundred dollars in Houston on a good house, and you might not make you you only you might make four hundred in the rest of the territory where you're working. So you have a good week then. When you saw Houston on your on your schedule, you knew you'd have a good week. Who would, uh, it was Fred Kohler, by the way, I think, uh, yeah. in Chicago. Uh, who would generally book you in he, uh, in Houston? Would it be a relationship with Mid-South? Would it be a rela- who would it be a relationship with? Who would get you booked there? Uh, I was working in out of Dallas with the Bon Erics that they would get me there. I have one match there. I think it was me and Killer. Killer or somebody. Is, uh, is it Tim Cox. Brooks? It was Killer Brooks. Yeah. Tim Brooks. And Gary Hart versus the Von Ericks. I think that was my first night in Houston. So, and I forgot who they beat. I think they beat me. <laughs> By rights, they should beat me. But... It was actually a good match. Hey, five to eight hundred dollars back then as well. That's a that's a big old payoff for an opening match as well. No, uh, for one day. Oh yes, it is. Mm. 